was it like, did you have an adjustment period, you know, cause they really kind of throw you in. They don't really hold your hand. You know, sometimes you figure out what to do right away. Was it yeah. easy for you? Or are you like, what is going on? What did I get myself into? I adjusted like two months after we wrapped. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, it was really hard for me. It was really like, it was, and I, I have to be really honest. Like I, I've been very lucky in my life. Things have always been very sort of neutral or good. Like I haven't, other than my dad being sick, like it was, I've had a very easy time in my life. And this really threw me through. I've never felt like I, it, it really messes with you emotionally. And you're like, what? You, I don't even know what's going on, but, um, through that there's a massive growth experience. So I try to, like, I always try to think of positives that come out of things. So your husband, Rob Minkoff, very famous director, not reality TV. Did he have <laughs> reservations of, you know, reality TV is a whole different animal. Like, did he not really he was totally freaked out. I mean, you know, he's like, I don't want anything to happen to you, to our family, to our kids. You know, he's his work is famous. He's not famous. So like this was going to put our family, our faces very public. You know, his drawings are public, but he never he never had like PR. To, he didn't want to be famous. That wasn't his thing. So um, so this was really kind of scary for us. Um, but at the same time, when we really dove into the whole, you know, the auditioning process and just, um, just at home talking about it. it was like, maybe this is an experience that we should accept, you know, but it was a family decision. And, you know, we called his agents and lawyer, we called a lot of people like, and they said, it's not anything you think it is. There's, you know, Rob, you control every blink of a character. Like you have no control. But, you know, we felt very comfortable and safe in who we are as a family. So. What has been the high of the whole experience for you? Like, what's the best thing from, for you from the season? I would say the best thing is the nice messages that come uh, from young girls, Asian girls, just any girls of color who say, you know, how much representation matters to them especially the Asian girls who said there's no Asian people on TV there's no one that looks like me and it's crazy when I remember feeling that way when I was younger but now we're in 2021 and they're feeling that way it just shows you that like how important it is to them and you know as hard it is for me to be on the show and the and the downs um it's an honor and so that's been really like, special do Every you moment. worry about like being part of the show like you're gonna get called into court no, I'm not worried about it. I'm not, I mean, if I, if I do, I'm, I do. I mean, I, it doesn't, it doesn't bother. You know, when you're on the show, like it, everyone knows that you're on, like you're going to be on the, with attached to Erica, but at the same time, it's all filmed. So it, all that's the interesting thing. Every time I talk to Erica and the group, it's on camera. There's evidence of it. So I, anything I say is going to, it's already there. So it doesn't really matter. And I don't, this, no, I'm not worried about it. I mean, I've, you, never, I've never been deposed for something. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> so fascinating for me in a way. I'm not afraid of it. Now, what has been your biggest regret of this season? Oh my God. Which one? So much. You know, I, um, I think all, obviously the stuff with Sutton, um, just I'm, I'm, reactionary and uh and I don't I don't discount like I don't I don't look back on my feelings as not real at all you know I mean they're, they're extremely real and I know that I just um would have taken a step back it, like I said like it took me two months after to decompress I wish I can I I'm learning to decompress more quickly and um process things more quickly and um because, you know, I would have liked to have gotten to a better place with her quicker because it gets better. And then it would have helped me just on the show in general, just open up more. It just took me a long time to open up later. But there's a lot of scenes that I just posted and want someone posted that got cut of us really starting to get to know each other. And I just love those moments. And that was like in La Quinta. And so, yeah, I just wish that we got through it quicker. That's all. What about, you know, you were filming this whole thing with, you know, Erica unfolding in real time. 
you know, and was that hard? I mean, I know you guys have talked about this ad nauseum, but like, was that hard just being there? Like, you didn't know her. Like, I take it you didn't know Erica before the show. I just knew her from the show. Um, so I think if it was very multi-layered for me, even though I was the newest person, I didn't know her because I had this total conception of her because of the show. And then when I went on to the show, when I started filming, she was like so open, sort of the opposite sort of idea of what I thought she was. And I remember Lisa Rinna was like, oh, she's, this is not, this is a different Erica. Like she's going through a lot. I was like, oh, wow. Cause she, I think she filed for divorce like two weeks into filming. So two weeks I met her. So she was just so vulnerable. And I was like, so I was sort of, as I'm trying to get to know everybody, I'm trying to like process that I'm meeting this person that I thought was totally different. And, you know, for me, I just pretty much the whole time we filmed, you know, even though there's a lot of questions, I couldn't let go of the fact that the main story for her was that he was possibly suffering from Alzheimer, which I had to deal with for nine years in the most horrific way, like everyone who goes through it does. So every time something was like, I wasn't sure, I was just like, but he has dementia. Like, you know, so it was really challenging. I was just, I just, my heart was so open and vulnerable to that and empathetic because I know what that was like. Did you ever say to yourself, you know, like if this were happening to you or some form of it, like, would you not be on the show? Like if it were happening to you and your family? Yes. (laughs) I did not, I could not believe every day I showed up, she was there. I was very surprised. I, yeah, I did not know. Yeah, totally. (laughs) Right? Like it's easier just to run and hide. Yeah, it was very, I, yeah, I think that's why all of us were like, we can't believe, you know, we're very impressed that you're here. And, you know, like, and she's like, I'm here. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't think I could do that. What do you think is the biggest misconception of you as people watch? For sure, I've never been called cold before. Um, so that's, you know, when I'm like standing there, people are like, oh, she has like a smug face. I'm like, I'm so uncomfortable. Like, I don't know if people don't ever do that. If they're uncomfortable, they like laugh or like, you know, I, I've i I've always been known as like the bubbly one. So that's like, I'm like literally scratching my head. I'm like, it's a head to head scratcher. Um, so that's kind of weird. But, you know, when you watch it, I can see it. So like, you know, I watch it with Rob and it's like, well, that's what they, that's you. You didn't, you know, and they, what they, how they put it together. You look cold. I'm like, I do. But I've never been called cold do before. Think, do you think Erica will come back just like on her own accord? I don't, I, I literally don't know. I'm like every day that she showed up this season, I was like, wow, you know, so I have no idea. And if she wants to, she deserves a spot. Did you ever think of not continuing like during your season? Like you said, like with Sutton and all this stuff, like, did you ever say like, uh, Rob, this was, I'd I'd like to talk to you tonight. Yes. Yes. I had very serious conversations about that very, very early on. Yeah. It was very tough because I, it just wasn't, it was not the start and the tone that I, I wanted, ever wanted ever expected. Um, and it was very challenging for me and I really struggled. Yes. Very serious. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But I, I'm also a very committed person and I, you know, and that was what we discussed. It was like, you know, that's, that's who I am. That's who we are as a family. We finish things. So that's what I did. Since you don't want to vote anyone off the Island. What (laughs) if, what if you had to bring someone back from the past? Let's take Teddy out of it since she's your buddy, you know, we we have obviously Teddy. We have, well, since she's your friend, let's give her a non, like we yes. have, you know, think of okay. all the people, LVP, Come I mean, I, I don't want to lead you in any way. I'm just throwing out all the names of the I'm going to say not LVP. Like, again, I don't know any of these people, but the girls seem to have a lot of issue with her. I wasn't there. I don't judge. I don't care. Um, so I'm going to, I you know, or maybe, I don't know, that'd be entertaining for the, for the audience. Um, I would, I, I think I've said this before, like, Eileen was, um, I always felt like similar to Eileen, like Eileen's sort of responses, is like how I'd respond to things. Um, Yolanda as well. I felt like always like 
that's how I'd respond. So I, I would pick people who are similar as opposed to who I would be like struggled with. 